out here in the vet barn. We're gonna kind of walk in here now. It's just a really pleasant way to practice medicine because you get to just be the doctor. Oh, Penny, you are gorgeous. Well, this is Samoa. This is the first time Samoa has been in the round pen. Johnny Grants has a story to tell to the fans and supporters. <sighs> Guys, I have a huge problem. Oh my gosh, feel the neck. Feel the subcutaneous tissue in the neck. This is a product of animal neglect. A struggling to breathe. Their breathing starts like that and it just gets worse and worse and then they're gone within yeah, hours. You see a lot of things at auctions. I was not expecting to see a huge tortoise. You better get back right now. Don't get eaten, Jenna. I think no. he's carnivorous. There. Oh, this is sad. Oh my goodness. What kind of person brings a horse to an auction that is in such horrible shape that it dies? Good morning, everyone. Out here in the vet barn, we're gonna kind of walk in here now. I've started on the hallway here. I finished up the med room. It's ready uh, as soon as we get the final on electric, we can start putting things in. Uh, we got the small animal room done. Uh, it's all ready for the equipment. And I have the office for the new uh, vet, vets and the vet techs done. This one's a little more messier. <laughs> and I've started in this room. Uh, this is gonna be our like our exam room or um, fair, for farrier work or whatever during the winter. It's gonna be heated and cooled. Uh, but it's a little more messier than the rest because I'm, it's a work in progress. <laughs> but I've got some steel on the walls. And one of the lights, I got one of the cabinets that is going to be built in. I'm going to frame around it and leave the cabinet inside the walls. So that's it. This is our number of animals that we have helped so far in the year of 2022. This number is a combination of grants that we have given and horses, animals that we've helped here locally in our shelter. So I try weekly to update this number so that we can keep track of it. And we are so excited because last year, for the whole year of 2021, we helped 1,661 animals. And so far this year, as you can see, uh, we've helped 1,732 animals, which I'm about to change that number to 1,761 animals locally and around the world we have helped 1761 animals that's 539 here at our local shelter and because of our amazing supporters we have helped 1222 through our grants program which are horses donkeys and mules hi i'm dawn from the grants department we've done an amazing 33 grants so far this month we had one in france that we assisted with a private owner with the last act of kindness. My favorite part about being grants manager is I love helping the small rescues who are just getting started and just need assistance and getting their medical bills covered, the gelding support, everything that we can do for brand new rescues just starting out. So we have Dr. Nancy Johnson here with us today. Dr. Johnson is doing an interview with us for the full-time veterinary position, and I'm thrilled that she's here. She has a ton of relevant experience working with horses, and I've already learned things from her this morning. So I'm from Southwest Virginia, and I've been out of vet school for 19 years, so worked primarily on equines, little cattle work along the way. And I went to kind of part-time vet work, and I'm looking to get back into full-time. and. Dr. Young uh, mentioned this job, I'm like, definitely something to explore. Definitely up my alley for equines. 
I remember, you know, being in private practice and trying to fit the farm calls in. You're like, well, I have to drive here, but then this would be better here. And so at Horse Plus, especially with a full-time vet, I'm here so intermittently, you can look at the patients, you can be like, all right, you know, let's pull these six up that just need a Coggins and a physical, and then let's do, or let's do a surgery in the morning, and if we're not successful standing, we can give it a couple hours and then do it under general. So it's really nice. It's a, the, the workflow feels so different. It's just a really pleasant way to practice medicine because you get to just be the doctor. We don't need Coggins on these guys. We... Need ivermectin, so uh, rabies, very and Coggins. Nice. Yep. Okay. So Coggins pulls. Okie dokie. Hi. Pigmented cutaneous mass um, about an inch down from the right ear. It looks benign to me. It looks like an old, old scar. I don't think we need to do anything about it. So this is Hobby. He is one of our quarantine horses, and today uh, we are checking his weight and boosting his vaccines. Uh, we're also deworming, and when we took him in on intake, his weight was 890, and today it is 920, so he has gained 30 pounds in quarantine. Um, so we are hoping for him to gain a, gain a little bit more weight, but we're glad to see progress. All right, he can go in the side pen here, and we'll pull up. Pull box up next. Good boy. How old is this horse, Jenna? He is 16. Uh, he's got some, either a cataract or lenticular sclerosis. Opto is not my, not my forte. It can't be lenticular sclerosis. It has to be, it has to be a cataract. Immature, immature cataract on the left. We'll take a peek on the right. This is Penny. She is a little baby that we have. It came from an auction. Um, she's been up in quarantine and she actually has an adoption appointment today. She is all set. We just did her outtake, so she will be released from quarantine and hopefully going to her forever home. Oh, you're so cute. We are taking a closer look at Dime. She is this beautiful little filly and she unfortunately has a congenital abnormality near her umbilical cord exit that's left a hernia. So she has a hole in her body wall. And when she whinnies, you can feel part of her intestine push out the hole. So that can cause a major problem if that intestine comes out and twists on itself. They can um, colic or have a lot of other complications. She's also a filly. So if she were to be bred, the weight of a pregnancy would make that much worse. So she needs to have that hernia surgically closed. There's a lot of risks associated with that surgery and there's also a really high likelihood that it's not gonna be successful or need to have a couple attempts to close that. We can get a pretty good idea with palpation and also checking with ultrasound, but unfortunately with these guys, often we have to get into surgery to see what we're dealing with and what tissue is present. Um, and especially with these guys that have a congenital problem, sometimes they have more than one congenital problem. So if we have time, we might do that today. It's really nice to have Dr. Johnson here. We've got two sets of veterinary hands. Even if we don't get it done today, before Dime goes for adoption, she'll need to have that problem fixed. So this is Samoa. Um, like many of our auction takes, we're not quite sure on their history. He's a very good boy. You can put a halter on, no problem. Last time we in took him, we kind of had a pretty severe trauma response to being in the shoot. Um, and it stressed him out really bad. So today, since everything's looking good, they're doing great. Um, we're not gonna put him in the shoot just to avoid that unnecessary stress on him right now. This is Wilson. Wilson is a yearling colt. And you guys can see he has really severe abnormalities in his chest on both sides. This side is really caved in and then the other side we have a big bony abnormality. And when I listen to Wilson's lung fields, his lungs also sound abnormal. So given the extent of the abnormalities, one possibility is that part of his abdominal contents, his GI tract, might be in the thorax, his chest. And 
I'm pretty concerned about his ability to undergo general anesthesia. Um, it's harder for the body to breathe for a horse when you're lying down than when you're standing up. But in order to be adoptable, we need to get Wilson castrated. We have two veterinarians here today, which is great. So one of us is gonna be watching his systemic circulation and health really closely under anesthesia. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get him safely neutered today. We're also hoping to get some x-rays of the affected area. It's so big that I'm not sure we're gonna be able to, but we'd like to have some answers about whether or not what we see was an injury or a congenital abnormality. So we're really hoping that he does well, but if he's not able to oxygenate well under anesthesia, that can cause um, organ damage and even, and even brain death. So we are being extra, extra cautious. Normally a castration isn't a super risky procedure, but um, his risks under anesthesia are much higher than the average horse. We just recovered Wilson from his castration procedure. He did great. We were concerned about his ability to oxygenate under anesthesia because his lung fields are very abnormal. Um, but he did um, very, very well. His anesthesia was very smooth. He did have a little bit of increased effort on respiration, but he recovered great and is up. We were also able to do some more diagnostics. We took some radiographs on the bony abnormalities that are present and they're consistent with a lot of old fractures in that area. So. We weren't sure if his problem was congenital or due to trauma, and I'm pretty confident that it is trauma related and that he had an old fracture in that area, but thankfully everything has healed up at this point. He's probably gonna have some arthritis in that part of his back, but right now as a, as a young horse, he is in great shape. So the adopters just arrived and they're going to take a look at some horses. I think all of these guys will take treats out of your hand too, at least from the fence. That's most of what I do with the higher level ones, is I just try to make friends with them. Hello, darling. Oh, you are so precious. Thank you. Uh -oh. Absolutely. Oh, so Penny, nice. you are gorgeous. And she's still a little oh, bum. I love she's you so already. Still a little she bum high, so I think she'll. Oh, end she's going to muscle up so pretty. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're beautiful. I went up to quarantine oh. one day and I was like, who's that? Because she was so big. Oh, <laughs> I didn't recognize her. <laughs> she's the prettiest. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mallory, I'm just so excited. Oh, you are a classy little girl. Let me see. If yes, you fine. are a classy little girl. She's absolutely gorgeous. She you can tell she'll, she'll really glow up and be just... Mm -hmm. I know, I can't wait to send y'all pictures. Look at that. Look at you pretty girl. Such a good girl. Mm -hmm. She's like crap, I threw it. There we go. Oh. She's like, now where do I go? You're beautiful. You're just beautiful. All right, we got something that'll work. Oh, she's beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased. That's my penny. And we'll put you right here and you're going home with me. Ta-da! That's my penny. I love it. I heard about this place from my granddaughter and we came over and she adopted one and it's been such a pleasure and you feel like you're doing something good, you know, for the horse community. And I saw a picture of this beautiful little Cremella and I decided I was going to, I wanted her. She was in quarantine. She came out yesterday and I'm here today to get her. And when I saw her, oh, she is absolutely gorgeous. She's going to be the prettiest horse on the place. But we're just so excited. We enjoy working with them, giving them a home and giving them a lot of love. And that's what they all need. Yes, I got stuck in Florida. Got stuck in Florida. At least you didn't get stuck there for the hurricane though, right? I guess so. <laughs> Glad you did. It's good to have you back. Thanks. Yeah. 
So what's going on today? We brought some horses down from quarantine yesterday. So we're gonna run uh, one pasture down at a time right now and just get some quick evaluations done on them, see where they're at, see what they need. And yeah, it's gonna be a good little half day here at Horse Plus until we head to auction. What are you expecting from auction? I am expecting anywhere from 15 to 20 horses tonight at the auction that we're gonna be able to get. Um, it was a mess last year going into winter. We had about 100 horses on the property. Uh, ultimately, we will save as many as we can and we're gonna get some critical cases. But yeah, we'll see how everything goes tonight. We're gonna put them in the training barn for right now. And then we'll probably pull them out. I'll probably pull all three of them out and just get them haltered and tied up. And then just bring one at a time in the round pen and get their evaluations done. I always love auction. One of the things I enjoy going to, I mean, it's, it's a sad situation, but yet we're there for a good reason to save some of the horses that need us. So that's why I enjoy going. Um, awesome. And how many do you think we're going to get? Uh, between 10, 10 to 18 horses, I think. Because it, we're getting back into the winter <laughs> where we're, we're going to start keeping our numbers low because of the cost of the hay and stuff like that. Because everything's gone up this year. So um, it's not going to, I don't think we're going to go too much over 10 to 18. So let's ask some people in the office about auction. Taylor. Yes. We're going to auction today. How many do you think we're going to get? I think that we're going to get 20. Ooh, okay. Hey, Casey. Yes. How many do you think we're going to get? Hmm, what, are, what have been some of the, um, some of the guesses? 10 to 15, 15 to 20. Really? Somebody can make a range like that? Somebody said 10 to 15. Yeah. Can we make ranges? Can I change? You can them? do whatever you okay, want. Zero to thirty. <laughs> well, I win. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I guess so. Um, no, probably like I don't know. Last time we got twenty six. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel like it's getting colder now, so mm -hmm. more people don't want to put their horse through winter. So I'm gonna guess with like, what'd you say, twenty? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with twenty five. Are you sticking with your answer? I'm sticking with my answer. It's okay. a happy middle. <laughs> okay, thank you. Isabella, <laughs> how many do you think we're going to get? Well, that's a great question. Mm, 18. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> that's a very specific number. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Hi. We're going to auction today. Yes. How many are you thinking? Well, John just said 100, and I'm like, there's no way. Um, I... I think probably 15 to 18 would be my guess, just because we do have a lot of animals at the shelter here right now. And historically, adoption's always slow going down and going into fall. And if you look at the adoption wall, there's not as many adoptions as we'd normally have. So um, with all those parameters, I'm really hoping for 15 or 18, but you never know. When you're looking into the eyes of a horse that's destined for slaughter, Sometimes you just have to save them. What's the question? <laughs> um, how many do you think we're getting from auction? Oh, how many are we getting? How many are we going to save from auction tonight? So, traditionally, we try to rescue 20, and usually we rescue more. Maybe we'll rescue more, maybe we'll rescue less. If I have to give you a number, it's going to be 15 full size horses and five small, like donkeys or ponies or mates. Wow, that's very specific. Okay. 15 and five, you bet. All right. <laughs> oh, and two drafts. Oh, no. <laughs> excuse me. A hundred? Why are you disturbing me from my work? <laughs> okay. Yes, I stick to that. A hundred. Uh, wait, wait, no. A hundred divided by ten. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's a little more reasonable. Yeah, I would I say. yeah it is. <laughs> nice. Thanks, John. I am watering the round pen. So we don't kick it up a bunch of dust. Allows me to breathe better and allows the horses to breathe better. Cool. Yeah. So we just brought all the horses down from quarantine. I'm gonna be trying to get as many training evaluations done as I can today. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna put it in the round pen, let it get used to its surroundings in there, and then I'll come in and start working with it.
And that is Samoa. I don't know much information about Samoa, but I'll get back to you on that. Well, this is Samoa. This is the first time Samoa has been in the round pen. Right now I'm just doing a quick training evaluation. I want to see what this horse knows. I'll ask it to lower its head. It's doing that pretty good. I'd like to try to get here to get those eye buggies off of there. Follows me around very nicely. It didn't quite know how to drop its head, but it figured it out pretty quick. Backing up, backs up very softly, drops his head down to where I want it, which is nice. Right here, I'm just trying to get flexion. I just want her or him to turn his head towards me. As soon as he does, I'll drop that pressure down. Then I'll ask to disengage hindquarters. It did not like that. That was better. Why'd you try to kick me? I don't even know you like that. I'll go to the other side. That was good. Can you get your hindquarters that way? So it's not used to pressure back there. I was just getting a little alarm there when I was putting pressure um, kind of on the barrel. But he figured it out pretty quick. He might, he might have some pain down there too if he's reacting that way. Work on getting his feet picked up, see how he does with that. So ultimately, Samoa did okay. Um, you can handle him okay on the ground. Just when you go and start trying to work on his feet, he doesn't like that, so we've got some work to do. Okay then. What a good start for the morning. I love it. Did you want to finish telling your story, Dawn? Dawn and Grants has a story to tell to the fans and supporters. Your turn, Dawn. I have been reaching out to states that we do not have any grants or rescues that we work with right now, and I got my first reply from my first email, and it's only been 15 minutes. That is right. So we would love to have pins all over the board. So there are certain states that at this time, we have not helped horses in your state. So Dawn has been reaching out to different rescues um, in different states that we have not assisted horses with and we're trying to kind of network out to different places. So if you follow a rescue, a horse rescue, and it is a nonprofit, it, they do have to be a 501c3, um, I would definitely message them and tell them to reach out to Horse Plus and see what grants we have available because we would love to be able to help as many horses as possible. What are we doing right now? I'm leaning against my truck. <laughs> uh, getting ready to go to auction. To nice. See if we can save some horses tonight. Corey, what are you up to? I'm also leaning up against the truck. No, oh, <laughs> why did you have to do this? <laughs> so we are getting ready to head out to auction. I'm going to get the um, auction box loaded up. This has everything that we're going to need. We got gloves, Sinchil. Um, we got some butte in here, some electrolytes, vetricin, we've got all of our injectable meds up here. Just pretty much pain management. If we get any uh, courses that really need some pain management and then we just got our halters here. So we can get this loaded up. And we also have a few other things in here. We've got our bags of shavings, we've got a bale of hay, just in case we need it. And uh, we have been getting a lot of horses, especially over the summer, that have been extremely dehydrated, so this is great to use for that. Um, it's pretty much just an enema. Uh, we can get fluids to the horses faster. We're gonna have our uh, vet come out to the auction. Um, I believe she is doing a working interview right now, seeing, just kind of feeling it out, seeing if she wants to work here. So that'll be really nice. It's something I don't think we've ever done before is actually have a vet come with us to auction. So it's gonna be an interesting night. We'll see how it all goes.
So we're hooked up, we're about ready to head to the auction and we're hoping to get a bunch of horses, uh, 15 to 18, maybe 20, 22. We don't know for sure, but I gotta go find Tawny and get her in the truck so we can go to the auction. I found her, so we're ready to go. I guess I was lost, I don't know. I was looking for you because we need to go. Oh, well, we gotta get the vet. Well, where's the vet? I don't know. I love it when vets go with us to the auction because we can help the animals in a really good way quickly and we know a lot more. Uh, we don't have to wait to get them back here to take an x-ray, you know, to really be like, like, I mean, like the horse with, um, that was missing the coffin bone. Uh, I mean, that was just a horrific thing. But when Doc looked at that horse, he instantly diagnosed it with the right diagnosis. He said the coffin bone's gone, I think. And when we took the x-ray, the coffin bone was gone. I, when he said that, I was thinking it was just like half there or something, but he said, I think the coffin bone's gone. The coffin bone was gone. And that's where that veterinarian expertise is so valuable. So I'm glad we got a vet to go to the auction. Yeah, it'll be great. Yep. And Doc is supposed to be here on Wednesday, so he'll be here when we get all the horses back. Nice. Jen is driving over. She's taking the bunnies that were surrendered at our shelter that have been here forever to another organization. They're going to meet us. And um, so as long as you're okay with riding with Jenna and bunnies. It's an interesting combination. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, of course. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Where go? Guys, I have a huge problem. I mean, massive. And it is something that is truly, I can't even do this. Sorry. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Okay. Can you grab all the blood? Where are you talking about? Filming. She's got the lappies. Okay. I'm gonna break it. Guys, I have a huge issue and it is something that is affecting my personal well-being and my co-workers well-being and you know I, I left for a few days okay um to go on vacation and I come back and look at this practically empty I might add okay so I leave for a few days okay and that was that was pretty full and I come back and all my snacks are gone so so we need to find your snack beef so we need to find snack beef well I admit that I took some but I also <laughs> paid you <laughs> that, I also that worked sent, itself out pretty quickly I, also I will say you I also sent you more like I took less than five dollars <laughs> worth and I sent you more but John's been taking them I know he's Ooh. been taking them so so I think I know yeah. who the culprit is it's strong. Turn the camera around. Just just for good <laughs> viewing. So I found out later that John was taking your snacks. And so then I paid you because I felt bad because he, you know, I feel responsible for him. He doesn't know that I paid too, so. <gasps> he did and I took like Let's two see. snacks. I took a reasonable amount. So the end of this, you actually paid Sarah for the snacks as that well. That my husband stole. But John says he also paid. Hey. So is Sarah complaining that John she never actually paid. got double paid for snacks? <laughs> He never paid for any snacks. I did. I paid for it. Let's look. I when? Have, With what? We have With cash. We found the vet and we're ready to hit the road. The auction is over and we rescued 30 horses and that's awesome but my heart is absolutely breaking because one literally died during the auction after we bought it what kind of person brings a horse to an auction that is in such horrible shape that it dies we are finding all of our horses so we can start medicating them this is a pony halter the days they never Changed. I think I went from a pony halter to a draft halter. <laughs> I think I went from a pony halter to a draft halter. <laughs> Probably. Fall away, fall away. Where do we go at the close of a day? See if 
So we can see though. Long hair coats, we've probably got some hormone issues. Keep it close always. What we know of love and pain, and all you built up in vain falls away, falls away. Who are those feet? Okay. Anything wrong with you? Got a couple of couple scratches. A couple scratches, main kick. We can probably just put that next to the paint and not with the, your little, little spirited, little spirited. These eyes are painful on this one. Those eyes, that's Clara's has bloodshot. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Banamine for this kid. So we're gonna get some pain meds. This kid's really blind and blindness isn't always super painful. But if you look at the sclera, the white around the eye, we're extremely bloodshot. Um, so the eyes just seem extremely painful. Um, really, really dilated. And so until we can do full ophthalmic exam, we're gonna give some pretty strong payments tonight just to keep it comfy until tomorrow. And then we can do a further exam and see what kind of meds it needs for its eyes. Ready, Keith? I'm not. Okay, ready? Poking. Real home is never far. Heart rate's definitely elevated. So this sweet horse is febrile, um, really high temperature, infection, head to toe, really, really painful feet, doesn't want to walk, probably severely foundered. Um, so we're going to give it high doses of IV pain medication tonight, clean out those eyes a little bit, um, and then put it on priority for one of the first ones to look at when we get back tomorrow to do radiographs and see what's going on. The banamine, though, not only will it take care or help with the pain, but it will also help lower that fever. Oh my gosh, feel the neck. Feel the subcutaneous tissue in the neck. That's been bad injuries with the air. air. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. air under the skin. Yeah. I mean, it's, sub, it's subacute emphysema. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that whatever injured her neck so bad with the bite bit so hard that it actually air, you can even have like trachea damage that can leak air out into it. Um, but essentially when you feel it, it feels like jelly bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I wasn't ready for that. Now I am. Hi, baby, I know it. Um, excuse me. Can I get some light over here by chance? Okay. Oh my gosh, his eye is all serrated. I don't think there's a full eyeball in there anymore. Yeah, that's a, that's a ruptured eye. This one, this eye's ruptured, and it is ulcerated all in it. That's why, that's why I was waiting for you to clean it up, because when I was peeking, I'm like, yeah, it's not. There is not an eyeball in that's there. That's what I was afraid of, because it sunk in when I was looking So this is just going to help with pain and inflammation in the eye. We can't fix it at this point, but anything that we can do to bring comfort tonight, at least, now that she's in our care, is better than nothing. How about this one, friend? I know this one's pretty bad too, and you are. I almost got the Lydia stance going there. Probably on our way to losing this one as well. All right, I know. All right. Probably just leave this one in here. I don't think we're going to get her to walk much. Where's our skinny baby donkey? Right here, the next 10 over. This is a product of animal neglect. This is a baby donkey um, that is emaciated, has skin conditions everywhere. Um, his eyes are bloodshot and he is just in horrible, horrible condition. But hopefully we can fix him up. So far so good, it's going really smooth, getting pain meds to those that need it. Um, need to run down a couple more and then we get to go to bed. gonna give some beauty. It looks like he's got some hip issues. Um, so we're gonna make him comfy for tonight. And he is real quick on his feet with that. Excuse me.
Dig a little bit. There's some swelling there. Excuse me, excuse me. We're committed at this point. A little bit more. That wasn't nice. Why did you drop it? <laughs> So crazy enough, we rescued 30 horses, and then of course, it seems like it's becoming common, they had a mix up in the office, and we rescued 31 horses, but um, you know, all, all kind of humor aside, one of them didn't make it. You wanna talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so we had one that was really serious, had a body condition score of one. Um, as soon as we got it, we went in, investigated how it was looking, and it was in really bad shape. So it was turning septic, it had a toxic line in its gums, it was extremely dehydrated, um, it had hypovolemic shock. You couldn't even feel its um, blood pressure or heartbeat in its veins. It was so bad. And then when we took the temperature, it was 95.6. So we did go ahead and give IV pain meds right away and then went to try to find the doctor to humanely euthanize it because he just wasn't going to make it home. Unfortunately, he did pass away before the doctor could get there. And I just, it, it's just so unbelievable that people actually would bring a horse in this poor of condition to an auction. and. There needs to be laws about that, you know. It's not the auction's fault. The auction didn't make that horse sick. The people who owned it before they brought it here allowed that horse to get in that condition, and it's infuriating. But um, we rescued 30 other horses that are alive and well. They're not, you know, they're not all perfect, but they're all gonna make it through tonight. They're all comfortable. They're all resting. We're gonna see them in a few hours when we're gonna do the auction assessment and get them loaded up and back to the shelter. Can't wait. morning we've had this summer. Uh, summer's gone, it's fall, and it's a little chilly, but we are all ready to load up and go get these horses ready to go back to the shelter. Last night was emotional, uh, but we have to focus on the horses that are alive and healthy, and healthy enough for travel, and so that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go start the live assessment. Uh, it'll be on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and get these horses ready to get transported to our facility where the intake will begin and that's gonna be very busy. It's a beautiful day to save horses. I chronically live on four hours of sleep, so it's gonna be great. We're getting the auction box out and we're heading back to the horses. I haven't seen them because I've been fundraising, so other folks have seen them. I'm excited to see them and uh, we'll get them ready to head back to the shelter. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to get the auction box now. <laughs> None of this would be possible without our donors, so I do take a little bit of time to uh, thank our donors. We actually have a video thank you system. So if you donate during auction week, you will get a video. Uh, I'll say thank you, and then a little snippet video of what happens at the auctions. Just an appreciation for the support that we have to rescue these horses, because we wouldn't have been able to rescue 31 horses we would have had to stop at 20. So it's only because of our donors we were able to rescue this many horses. So we're extremely grateful. So I'm just gonna do a few little videos and appreciation. Hi Shirley, it's Tawny with Horse Plus Humane Society. And I just wanted to thank you so much for your $600 donation. Every month we're like, the gates are squeaking. Every month we're like, yeah, next month we're gonna get it. It's that month, WD-40, not squeaky. Nice. No squeak. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> we are starting our initial intake and we're seeing what everyone's looking like. 
this horse like missing half of her teeth? Like, where's the rest of her udder? Or is it just like hanging down low? She has something happened to the one side of the spot. Yeah, there's only one obvious teeth there. The other one is. Bit off. Something's happened with it. 30 some. 30 plus. Yeah. So I do know that this horse does have some issues with its back leg. Um, and some other health problems the vet has already talked about. So we'll see um, where we are done. Um, but the horse is extremely old. Um, so those health problems are... are the vet called it Methuselah. So. Uh, 30 plus, 30 plus on this horse, okay. But this mare, um, super skinny, um, appears to be super foundered in the front. She's really painful. We gave her a heavy dose of pain meds last night. We're gonna give her a heavy dose of pain meds again this morning. And this horse has gotten pain meds last night and and this morning. Confirm. Yeah. The horse is just covered in manure. Yes, yeah, it's, it's devastating. If you look down here, part of the hoof is actually torn off of the other. It probably had a huge abscess. That horse is in a really rough condition and there'll be a number of horses coming through in pretty rough condition. I, I think it has Cushing's, yeah. And because uh, it's the end of summer, they shouldn't be all fuzzy from um, you know, shedding out or anything. And like if that. you look down at his legs, a lot of ways to tell if a horse has Cushing's is see how hairy the legs are. That's not, horses don't get that hairy. So that's what's really sad is horses with medical problems need to be treated. And that's why the slaughter pipeline is so, um, ramp it is we have owners of horses that should have been making the right decision for them and instead they turn them away into the slaughter pipeline because they don't want to deal with end of life decisions but when you own an animal when you get that animal you need to know you will be at some point dealing with an end of life decision and it's really hard but it's completely horribly irresponsible just to walk away and leave that animal in that, that suffering state. And he is a stallion. One's bigger than the other. And there's a giant mass on one on the right side. Uh, was somebody just trying to make you pretty? Is that from probably yeah. rubbing? That's probably rubbing on, on something. But it's I'm guessing that this is, there's a spray that's a purple spray. Uh -huh. That's a wound spray and that's friend probably had it on it when he rubbed against his friend. All right, other side, and this is a stallion, so he will need to go by himself. There's a weird thing from the auctions that donkeys get, and this is a very similar breathing pattern to those donkeys. It's a struggling to breathe. In the morning, they're fine. Their breathing starts like that, and it just gets worse and worse, and then they're gone within yeah, hours. She definitely has increased abdominal effort mm -hmm. on her breathing, and that's yeah. not, COPD uh, heaves can do that, but not to that nature of her yeah. pattern as bad. So yeah. probably some, unfortunately, pneumonia, whether it's viral component that started it, equine influenza, something like that, or bacterial. Def definitely yeah. struggling to breathe. Yes. But yeah, so that's that's the similar, that, that really deep struggle. Yeah, that extra abdominal effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blind horses can do really well if they know their environment. They can, you can have them in a big pen. They know exactly what's in that pen. And they can gallop, they can run in that pen. They can get very well adjusted to one environment. But when you bring them to an auction, it's completely strange. There's horses all over, people shoving them around, horses sh kicking and shoving them around. It's just really sad. He has a huge, hard tumor between his legs, maybe small watermelon size yeah and it is hard it's not feeling like it's a uh, a hernia and he's also got some other potential issues dsld uh, he's not doing good so look at the horse's face yes. that is so so cute such fun markings now unfortunately this horse does have some severe um just down in his pastern, it's, it's uh, right front pastern has got a lot of issues. So we are going to want to x-ray 
This is a gelding. That's a super cute horse, but you can tell he's not comfortable, even though the medical team's trying to make him comfortable. But, and he's not terribly old. Six is what they it's said. so sad. I love him. He is a baby. Aww. Poor little guy. And he's a stud, but he will have a lot of healing to do before oh, that's fixed. Tutors. Oh, little tutors. The sweet little mare pony, um, she's pretty club footed all the way around to the point that instead of walking flat on her hooves, she's completely up on the toes and almost over. Um, so we are gonna give her some pain meds just to make the trailer and comfy. And, but that's probably most likely a um, congenital defect and not anything that is really fixable. And it's just kind of how she was born. But we see a lot of ponies that come in with the front fetlock bent over and contracted tendons. That's how it starts. Because as she's walking currently, every once in a while, it will roll over as she's walking and then it becomes more chronic. That's the beginning of it. This next one can barely walk. Can we do his life here so that we yeah, can just go straight yeah. out? Yeah, no, I don't want him to move more than he needs. We're gonna try to go to the barn. This is the sad one we had last night with the sub-Q emphysema. Um, really, really bad eyes, super infected, really had a fever, dehydrated, and looks to be severely foundered. So we're just gonna give it some more pain meds. It looks like it's been through multiple auctions. Yes. So initial assessment is done on all of our auction horses. Medical team is headed back to the shelter to start getting ready for everyone and the rest of the team's going to start loading up. Down to 50 bucks. <laughs> okay. Getting a turtle. <laughs> He said they're normally 500. I'm, I'm sure. So, you see a lot of things at auctions. I was not expecting to see a huge tortoise. And apparently he was a no sale. And the auction said that he would sell them to us for $350. We're not a turtle rescue, but what's his future? It's very, very uncertain. I think he needs to come back to the shelter so we can, we can ensure his safe future. But uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of strange. I'm gonna have to try to do some fundraising. See where our turtle lovers are, tortoise lovers. Harmless creature. He has no enemies. Well, we we would need to know all right. everything. Right. We are not turtle people. <laughs> How are you feeling about this? Well, considering me and Keith are the ones picking it up, put it in the truck. I think uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Did you hear him? Did yeah. y'all hear him? He said, ugh! <laughs> Leave the clear space real quick, too. Okay. Uh, really? He said, ugh! A little bit more. Let's put some hay by him. I'm going to block that there and then bring this one up like that. <laughs> <laughs> This donkey is just really, really weak. Having a hard time staying up on his, his legs. Uh, <laughs> Easy. Uh, we'll get him back up. Hey baby, you're up here now. One thing we see at donkeys from auction is there's this weird disease they get and their breathing becomes labored very rapidly. And that's what we're seeing is he's starting to have really labored breathing. And this disease that we see donkeys get from auctions in Tennessee, they can seem healthy in the morning and be dead in the evening. And it just starts with that real labored breathing and they get very weak. So 
this this could be a really bad situation. I mean, the vet was just here, thought he was fine. Um, I mean, other than being weak, but we'll see what happens. There we go. Let, let him rest, let him rest now. So this, it starts with this breathing. They get very labored breathing. You can see them struggling to breathe. And we've never been able to really save a donkey once it gets, it's like this. So we might've gotten to him too late. So we actually ended up uh, getting the tortoise. So we were actually hauling 31 uh, to our shelter and it is 10.30, everyone is loaded up on the road. We already have another group of uh, uh, 12 on the road in front of us. So now it's time to head back to the shelter. So the first trailer has just arrived and we're going to unload and get them checked out. Did, look at it, do you think he's 25 on his teeth? If I remember looking there, yeah. He's so pretty. Yeah. I don't like that. Uh, can't argue with that. Yeah, can't go against it though. So he is in his 20s, he's still a stallion. Um, but he doesn't have any stud behaviors, otherwise looks healthy. Um, so the doctors are going to kind of consult with Connie when she gets here and kind of see what's the best course of action for quality of life. We better stop it. We better stop it right now. Temperaments. Don't get eat, Jenna. I think he's carnivorous. We are doing rabies today, right? Yep. Okay. And how we're gonna do pictures? No. Work here. <laughs> What's going on here? We're communicating. We're animal communicators. Um, well, we, we're on this. This is our first horse we're intaking. So, and he's given us, you know, a run for our money. He's like, I'm gonna show you what we're what we're bringing. He's actually doing really well right now, but it's kind of chilly, but. It's way better than the heat that we've had, so it's gonna be a good day. 552. I'm not seeing any evidence of respiratory. No, he seems as healthy right now as he could be. It's probably the healthiest, if not of them. Yeah. This is B12, just kind of boost the gut up a little bit. There's been a lot of stress, a lot of change going on. All right, so we need to close these. You need to hold on to him for us to get photos. What? Nothing. I do. <laughs> do you hear that? She asked if I had life insurance. Do you know what that means? That means you don't die. It tells me I, I can't die. Wait, dude. shelter and now we're gonna get very busy because there's a lot of animals that need their intake done and uh, it's we're gonna be exhausted by the end of the day. This is 
a very old wheat course and um, unfortunately did go down in the trailer and um, it's it's got a lot of medical problems so um, I'm probably gonna have to do the last act of kindness right here so this is an older horse um, I think we aged him right around 30 years old at the auction but he went down in the trailer and he's just really weak he's pretty skinny so right now we're doing the best thing we can for it and that's the last act of kindness We are going to take radiographs on that front left knee because it looks like we're a little over on the knee and there's it's kind of bulging so we're going to see what's going on underneath. Okay. Yeah, this is Dr. Nan. This is more lytic growth like cancerous bone. Yeah, that is. That or she's had a joint infection that's eroded the bone. Yeah, that's like all in. Yeah, I'd say. What do you think? Joint infection at one time? Yeah, probably. I think that's what got it. Oh, look yeah. at like, because like. Did you get a side shot too? I sure did, Doc. Yeah, I think that's going to be previous joint infection. All right. And he knocked her snot out of it. Mm hmm. They don't make replacement joints for horses, so there's not much we can do about it. They, it just looks like an old infection, maybe, that got into the bone. Osteo or a severe injury that damaged all the, uh, it just damaged the joint. And it's just never going to get better. Just never. Joint problems just are, just never get better. Sad. Come here, baby. There you go. Oh. So my binder went missing. So I'm having to do this all on a clipboard. I'm just trying to find her number. I mean, what kind of filth would, was this horse living in, you know? It's like, it's probably the most feet you've had in a long time, isn't it, honey? That other one? Fence water. Okay. This one just rolling in the mud? No, she was down. At some point. She was like this last night. Just go really slow with her, okay? Take a little snack for the road. Just in case. Looks pitiful. It sure does. Y'all getting x-rays? Mm-hmm. You ask him if there's nothing wrong with it, you just help him out, you know? Oh, man. Hey, she has a scar. Yes. Do you want to see this? Yeah. Yeah, we're badly found her. Fixing to come through the bottom. Yep. We got the old hook. The joints look surprisingly well, but the hoof is fixing to come through the sole. We're ready to walk. Yep. We're ready to walk. Yep. Oh man, she can't even walk. Huh? I hold the heads. I tell you what, we'll check our eyes out when he's sedated to where I can actually get a look. How's that? Um, we're going to take a closer look at his mouth, check out his teeth, see if there's anything that we can potentially work on, and then we can get a better look at his eye that's watering to see if there is anything that we need to be treating. Yeah. 
I just poked the needle in. I didn't do anything else. Now you boogered it jumping around. You boogered it jumping. So let's try that again. But now you see why I keep them separate. Because if you attach them both together, when one jumps like that, they can hit easily and drive it further around. So if you keep it separate, it's just a little extra not in the way when they're doing that. So, because he's a jumper, we know it. Okay. Okay, is he darling? Yeah, it's okay. You can chill there a minute, okay? You chill and let your drugs take effect. You can always have more. I don't fight you when I do dentals. I want you to be happy. Okay, now he does jump when you poke his vein, so be prepared. This one's wild. <laughs> Good job, well, at least we got you a little halfway drunk. You didn't jump that time. What have you done? <laughs> so a while ago, we got a lot of little uh, koalas donated and they're all over the office. And you see them at their most random places. That's pretty random. <laughs> In the middle of his doctor's visit? Yes. Yeah, isn't that crazy how that works out that way? I mean... Crystal so close. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> oh. <gasps> it's like the elf on the shelf. It really is. It's just moving everywhere. <laughs> Where's it gonna be next? So be on the lookout for if he wants to sling his head up, don't let him hit you in the head or in the face or anywhere like that, okay? Got it. Yeah, we're missing. Got ramps in there, which is where they wave mouth. Yeah, wave mouth. Okay, can you care to shine that light in there? Okay, missing premolar three and extreme wave mouth on the left side. Very little left of the teeth. How old is this? Old. No. I think it's an older horse than mm -hmm. I have human. No. So do we think that this horse can can be, what's the quality of life? I'm gonna let his jaw sound while we decide this. So I'll just let him hang out. They look bad the back teeth. Yeah, it's back. okay, baby. Yeah. They're almost down to wear on the top there and they're waved really bad. So he's not gonna have a long life with those teeth regardless of what we do. Because again, he's gonna have major issues eating. Yeah, that's why I was going to take a look here. He's already starting to drop his weight. Uh, he's going to be hard to ever keep weight on with his teeth. Who was the paint that we had down there that we had to use in us? Clark. Clark. That's what I'm, th I know I'm having flashbacks of him. What would we like to do based on knowing that he's not going to have a long, good life with the teeth issue, regardless if we float or not? Cause, and uh, the risk with floating when they're that bad is you can knock a few of those really short ones loose, even though the, you're very gentle. So it's always a risk too. Because again, you don't have good adoptability in the long term. I decided to bring Rebecca up here since she just recently started. She is responsible for writing our grants as well as doing some of our auction posts um, and telling the horse's story. So I think one of the important parts of this is being able to see the after effects of the auction. So this horse uh, has actually doesn't have any crucial medical problems and uh, we are going to do a gelding operation on him. So. Yay, finally, a uh, horse that looks like he could have a bright future. First. Sedation that's going to put him under in sleepy La La Land, and when he wakes up, he's going to be a new man. Morning finds her here again. Oh my goodness! Typically we would do this in the chute, but since we were gelding him, we figured we'd save him all the you want poking. Um, Doc just threw something past us. Yep. 
It doesn't matter where and I am, he always throws a testicle my way. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. There has been one that ended up on someone's head and oh. landed there. Oh. And I guess she's forgiven me. She thought about working for me, but she talked herself out of it. She thought, do I want to have that experience happen again? No. Do we know his name? We don't know his name yet, but um, he hasn't been named yet. But we just um, made him a better citizen by uh, getting him castrated today. So he's a little sleepy. Choppy, choppy. <laughs> so anyways, we're just going to stand here and wait for him to wake up. He's going to be yeah. groggy for a little while, but no, not a problem. he's a sweet boy. He got all of his vaccinations and um, everything. So he should be waking up here shortly. Go eat, baby. It's okay, sweetheart. Just watch your hip fire on. You're such watch a fighter, hip. baby girl. This is how a compassion fatigue happens in this field. I will put it on the tube. Okay. Open up. <laughs> Coming in for a landing. Did you care to hold her a minute? Coming in for, I know, there's a koala. It's okay. I don't think he likes your koala. Oh no, it's like, what is the koala? She said, what in the mess? What in the mess? Oh no, the koala got bucked off. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> nice. That koala's really getting, uh, <laughs> going through it today. <laughs> This horse might be a Rocky Mountain saddle horse cross, um, but it has extreme pain in one of its eyes. And we are going to do a surgery to remove its eye so it can be more comfortable. Um, and the other eye might need to be removed, but we're gonna start first with the, the first eye and re remove that eye. But it's a super sweet horse. It is sick right now, but we can't control the pain. So um, we're gonna go ahead with the surgery today. So it's just getting um, xylazine. Xylazine. Uh, just keep it relaxed. It's gonna go under anesthesia. Perfect. Carry me We found the bleeder. Hey, what I need you to do, Annalie, is open that pack because it's a pain in the neck. Usually there's not a bleeder there. And what made you choose to do this for a living? Because I don't know, it just seemed like a good idea. I worked in a factory some when I was in college. And I'll go, I am not better than those people, but I cannot do that. I totally understand you. And then I thought about being a school teacher because you could, I could farm and be off in the summer and I go, I don't think I want to deal with somebody else's kids. Can understand that as well. So I get to UT and, and we've talked about this today. I go, I don't know if I'm as smart as they are, but I can. But you can pretend. I'm sure I'll work them. No, I'll just I'll, I'll just bull I'll just bull out work. Uh, well, Keith but, might be able to keep up with me. He's one of the few that I think can. <laughs> well, my, I have this quote that I kind of live by that says, "Talent, hard work outruns talent when talent doesn't work hard." So, as long as you were determined to work hard, I think you were good. And you look like you're comfortable with it. So. <laughs> It's more strange that there's a lot of liquid coming out of the eye. It's there's a lot too. of information with this. Well, good. 
It went pretty good. I yeah. hope we did it some good. I hope so too. Sometimes you do a surgery and it's a terrible surgery. You know it's a painful surgery. Two hours later, they feel better, so you don't know how much it was hurting them. This will probably hurt a little bit more than I, but by Monday, I hope that's better. Yeah. What have you got there? It's a koala. He fell on the ground after surgery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They picked him up before he got stepped on. You got some pizza. I did. This is a really, really, really hard option to take. Yeah, it's really nice to have pizza. I know when we uh, you all asked for pizza before, some people were like whining that we would ask, but we have our supporters asking, what do you need? And I can tell you at the end of an auction rescue day when you're spent, it's really nice to have some pizza. So thank you for your, your donation uh, of making the pizza. Um, if you'd like to donate uh, something like this for our team, you can just email hr at horsehumane.org and Tanner will be happy to schedule you out so the staff can can survive these hard long days. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Nadine. We really, really appreciate it. I like that. He really likes pizza. <laughs> We bought him for $25. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Serious. And he, how, how old is he? Like three and a half, and three. he's got multiple auction tags. Aww. And I love him. Never rushing through step by careful step. Today was a very long day. Um, it went really smooth as far as all the help and everything but it was it was one of the worst ones which as far as like we had to say goodbye to so many horses but that is kind of expected going into fall it, and winter yes a lot of times people go well we're not going to get any weight on this horse or for some reason we can't gain weight we can't afford to feed it so they take them in and turn them in then it was there's take all him kinds to the auction of, instead of taking him to a vet basically take, yes and let somebody else deal with it so, and that's us we try to the buck stops here. We had to do the last act of kindness to several animals today. Some of them were sweet animals. And uh, we will be posting the reports up um, and and x-rays and stuff so people can see it. But it is really, really sad. Um, you know, that these horses, whether we went to the auction and got them or they were taken to the auction, they would still be out there suffering. And we ended that suffering today. And, um, but we had some really awesome things happen. We, what was the mysterious creature we had in the horse trailer? <laughs> That's pretty neat. I don't know what we're gonna do with that one, but hey, did y'all show pictures of it? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. no, that. I'm not sure whether it's a turtle or a tortoise, but it is huge. It's like 150 <laughs> pounds. It's big. It's big. Um, and then we did an eye removal and gelding operations. It's been a really busy day and uh, wrapping up and you, you, we got pizza too. Pizza, whoever sent pizza, I love you. I will love you forever. Thank you. <laughs> All uh, right. Well, we're going to wrap th it up. And thank you for everything. Wrap it up tonight and get everything packed up. And then we're going to go visit the tortoise in the in the office, I think is where they put him for tonight. <laughs> we're going to, we'll find out. Hey, Connie.